Vega Heist of Time has finally come. Uh, I've been waiting days for this. Um, I got everything done right now. I just got done setting up another, yet another new pool account. And I finally got some time to test out my new quadcopter. Uh, the Q Libro 3 inch. I've literally been waiting days for this. Um, so let's check it out and see how it flies. Here she is. Oh. All right. Um, so this is my first actual maiden. Uh, let's take a closer look at this real quick. So this was a super tight build, like holy cow. I don't know uh, how else I could have built this, but wow, it's tight. I had to shave down the standoffs. Um, I had to shave down that top nut on the rear just so it would clear um, the opening. Um, so as he, I had to decase the receiver, it's the Fly Sky 8HS or whatever. But um, so just to fit that in, I had to decase it. Uh, as you can see, I have the VTX kind of stuck in the back here. Um, yeah, it, it is super tight in there. And there's, I struggled to get, um, even get a buzzer in there. There is a buzzer in there. It's, it's behind the camera. I don't know if you can really see it. Um, so every once in a while it kind of hits the camera if I try to move the um, try to move it um, I don't know if how good you're gonna be able to see this but I actually had to let's see can't really tell but I had to grind off um, the bottom corner of my run cam micro camera and I had to kind of grind a groove into into the um, the plastic there just so that it would um, swivel up uh, because it was hitting and that's with it um, slid mostly far. I have it slid pretty far back right now in the groove um, in this groove right here um, but it can slide forward but so anyways super tight belt holy moly um, unfortunately, I'm kind of bummed because I have a crack in it already. I don't know if you can see it right across the top there. Um, but it, it's kind of my fault. I um, was hovering this in my garage and I set the RPM on a almost dead battery. Um, so it was kind of high. And so I didn't think about it when I, when I put a... A fully charged battery in and armed it it just went and hit the ceiling in my garage and um, fell and landed upside down like that and broke that plastic piece right there so uh, I just put a little bit of super glue it seems to be fine um, they he they did include another one of these top covers but this one has the little um, has the little swing thing so I like it this one has that little groove in there um, which normally, you know, it was designed for the VTX antenna to go here, but just the way I had to fit everything, I couldn't even get that up in here. Um, so I had to mount it down there in the back. So, so everything's there. It fits. Um, we got these, uh, um, T motor, uh, F 20 V twos. So brand new T motors. Um, 3750 KV and on 4S and that's actually all I own I don't even own any 3S batteries so let's see what happens let's fly this baby all right so we're gonna try a couple things out real quick first uh, here's the beeper that's working uh, go ahead and arm it I'll spin it good. The, the front left one's spinning a lot faster than all the others. I'm going to test the fail save. Shutting off the radio. And boom. There we go. Okay. Good. Everything's working. Let's 
Why? Alright, so yeah, seems to fly good. She's fast. Um I I mean this is just <laughs> the first few minutes of flying it. It doesn't seem it, it's 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 a little bit this is almost 20 grams lighter than my um three inch um mini Cerberus was. So 20 grams lighter but the the mini Cerberus I had the brother um, the brother hobby tornado 1407s of course these are the T motor F2 1408s um, these motors don't feel nearly as coggy as the brother hobby ones do um, you know not even close so you know they they spin really easy that so I don't know if that means the magnets just aren't that strong but even though I do hear a little bit of fluttering in the motors, they're they're running pretty cool. So maybe that's a good thing because uh, that was kind of an issue with the brother hobbies. <clears throat> um, so the wind's really picked up now. It's kind of windy now, but um, so I'm gonna just, gonna fly it, do some FPV flying. So here we go. first battery pack and my initial thoughts are um, wow that thing just demolished that 850 milli hour battery pack um, I gotta say my um, my Cerberus mini 3 inch um, had the brother hobby 1407 uh, motors um, it was faster than this uh, quite a bit faster these T motor um, I, it's only been one battery pack. This is just my initial thoughts, um, but they're not as fast as the brother hobbies um, But I so as far as the uh, Efficiency, you know, I am using um, these uh, Rotor X what are they the um, 3044 props so and I was only running the 3030s on the um, on the mini Cerberus so only a 30 pitch these are 44 so that could be part of why it just smashed that battery pack like that um, I don't know we'll try I'll, I'll try a couple different props on this um, but so far I mean hey it's flying great but 
not as fast as my mini Cerberus which was 20 grams heavier um, so this is 20 grams lighter but still not quite as fast <laughs> 